Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Knowledge is key to the sincerity of our walk with God. When we know God and His ways, we have purpose and goals as how we are to live. We're reading today from Philippians chapters 1 and 2, and the verse of the day is Philippians 1 verses 9 and 10. And this I pray, that your love may overflow still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment, so that you may discover the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and blameless for the day of Christ. We have all heard the complaints about hypocrites being in church, And while we would recoil at the thought, if we're honest, there is some truth to the statement. The Pharisees laid the groundwork, and if we are not careful, we can follow in their footsteps by making our faith a religion. In context, Paul wrote this letter to the church at Philippi to thank them for their partnership in the gospel. But notice how Paul is encouraging them to keep on keeping on. And this I pray that your love may overflow still more and more. We are never to be stagnant in Christ, never to think we have arrived. We need to keep a hunger for the things of God and a teachability, lest we become the proverbial fat and happy and revert to a works-based religion rather than a vibrant faith. Paul challenged the Philippians to have knowledge and discernment so they would not waste time on worthless things, and so they would be sincere and blameless when Christ returns. Basically, when the cat is away, don't play. Be ready. Live well. I chose the key word sincere, which is the Greek word, I'll try to pronounce this, guys, ilikrines. It means pure, sincere, unsullied, tested as genuine. Thought of the day, live what you believe. Application. The world has seen enough culture Christians. Let's be the real deal. Sincerity in our walk with God will reach people more than words alone. Go with God in his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Leviticus.